r slash ask reddit what are things hollywood has tricked the general population into believing air conditioning ducts are an easy way to sneak through buildings and without a speck of dust and perfectly silent that all cars are made of unstable explosives and tires will squeal on any surface even gravel hi sound mixer here there's actually a lot of stuff that doesn't happen in real life that we edit the wrong sound into. That we change how things sound because, ironically, making things sound accurate can sometimes sound weird or off-putting to an audience. Which in turn can completely disrupt the movie. Our ears are much less forgiving than our eyes. So when a sound sticks out, it's quite a bit more noticeable tires screeching on gravel is one thing we do to give an order to re-kick to the audience to emphasize speed or urgency. We'd add tires screeching to basically any surface and adjust other effects to make it fit during a car chase for this specific reason. Another thing we do is sync up the sound of thunder with the flash of lightning. People are very rarely close enough to lightning for the sound to appear at the same time as the flash. But adjusting for that fact can actually take an audience out of the intention of the scene because they are waiting for the sound of thunder. So we sync both up to complete the sensation and have it take as little attention as possible. We like to play little tricks on you. It's very funny hope this helps. Edit. I did not expect this to blow up. Thanks for the questions and DMs and I promise I'll try to get to everyone. Movie making is super cool and I love telling people about the stuff I do. That car doors are somehow bulletproof. It's so much worse with wooden tables. Hollywood tables. Both bulletproof and capable of exploding into shards of scrap if a human falls on them. You can outrun a giant explosion. Explosions gently push you 10 featuring but never burn all the skin, clothes and hair off your body. And shockwaves don't exist, or if they do, they don't damage you at all. Knocking people out with a blow to the skull or jaw is a harmless way to temporarily incapacitate. They're gonna wake up soon if they're not up by the time you finish that sentence. There's probably a good chance they aren't going to. I've been knocked out hard twice in my life. Both times I was probably on my feet. Badly. Within 310 seconds. Was blind for probably 30 seconds the one time. That was fun. Surprisingly the body doesn't just flip into sleep mode when you get knocked out. It goes into full panic that shouldn't have happened mode. You can pull the tab off a hand grenade with your teeth. It's more like the tab of the grenade pulls your teeth out. This fallacy actually originated during the Vietnam conflict, I think. Might have been Korea. Soldiers would unbend the legs of the safety pin to make them easier to pull out. Mostly this was so they could throw the grenade with one hand while continuing to fire with the other. It's incredibly unsafe and has been cited as the cause of tons of accidents. But when you're being shot at that much, you tend to be okay with taking your chances since the odds are so bad anyways. Same thing with hanging grenades by the pin. One should never do that. But when it came down to defensive fighting, Soldiers would do that so they could arm the grenade simply by pulling it off their vest. Back when I was still in training, another company had an incident where a soldier used cord to tie smoke grenade pins to their vest pouch whatever so that they can pull and throw in a single motion. Apparently something happened. The cord got caught on something or whatever and the smoke grenade went off while it was still in the grenade pouch. And for those of you who've thrown smokes before, you'd know that those things get really hot. When this soldier tried to reach in and remove the smoke grenade he ended up burning his hand. After that incident, the instructors ended up being ordered to inspect all of our gear specifically for such cords every time we prepared to move out for training exercises. If you keep bothering her long enough she will fall for you. Nah, she will just think you are creepy. This has always bugged me. When you look at the people who were in charge of green lighting films through the 80s, 90s and zeros, it makes a lot of sense that most male characters are creepy ducks. That people with normal jobs can afford the most luxurious of apartments in New York, San Francisco, etc. God I hate the broke NYC fashion student living in a rundown apartment when it's actually just an industrial loft that's really nice trope. Broke NYC fashion student means parents only worth single or lower double digit millions so they can only afford up to $5,000 a month for their kids apartment in Soho as opposed to $10,000 plus mo for some fancier place. Overlooking the water. That CPR brings practically anybody back to life. No matter what happened to them. 
and if CPR doesn't, violently pounding on their chest will do the trick. Usually helped by loudly shouting at the victim. That's you can enhance photos despite the grain or pixelation. If you enlarge your photo you will not get a crystal clear image. Zoom and enhance is my least favorite Hollywood trope. What's worse is I've seen several plots on TV shows resolved using that method, showing that in reality that killer or villain would easily have gotten away since enhancing to Hollywood levels isn't a thing. It is on those 10k resolution cameras used to photograph mountains, but those aren't commonplace. Sprinkler head pops easily and the water is clean. As a fire alarm tech, the temperature to pop the head isn't a low one and the water is usually black and smells disgusting. I constantly see sprinklers misrepresented in movies and it annoys me. There is actually an organization that sends Hollywood writers letters trying to tell them how dangerous it is to misrepresent how fire sprinklers work. I have friends and family that believe that the smoke from a cigarette will set off a sprinkler. I have to explain to them that it is set off by heat. They also believe that every building has a button you can push to set all the sprinklers off at once. I explain to them that almost all sprinkler systems are dumb. I explain to them that the majority of sprinklers are independent and heat activated rated to activate to temps of 140F or higher and are not connected to a computer activation system. For the most part, they tend to ignore what I'm saying because sprinkler system misinformation is so prevalent in Hollywood. I had one guy tell me that if he had a building that had sprinklers in them, he would take them out if he could do it legally. He said he doesn't want to have an entire building flood because somebody burned some popcorn in the microwave. No amount of talking could dissuade him from his beliefs. People also don't understand the difference between a smoke detector and a fire detector. One is triggered by your popcorn burning. You can reset that one and not cause any issues. The fire detector goes off with high temperatures and is wired into the entire building alarm system. You can't reset it. We get so many false alarms in my building because people set off the smoke detector and then try to reset the fire detector. Instead, then, the FD shows up. That you can shoot somebody in the leg and it's harmless. Similarly, that getting punched in the face is harmless. People sometimes die from a single punch to the face. A man is currently in a coma who was punched one time at the NFC Championship football game. But that missiles RPG rounds are slow and easily dodgeable by a human. RPG rounds fly at 300 meters per second. You are not dodging that. When one is coming right at you, it looks slower than it actually is, similar to a train. Ah and then it flies by and you realize it was holding a source, near miss with an RPG, where I just looked at it dumbly. RPG club high five can confirm, you might have just enough time to think well duck. Bullets can be shrugged off like a flesh wound. You have to rip off a strip of your dirty t-shirt and tie it over it and you're all set. Well after someone dabs your forehead off sweat of course. Sex ends with rolling over and going to sleep and not cleaning up after. Go to pee afterwards or risk a UT. What if I used all my pee during sex? Paramedics are constantly running and push the stretcher into the O at breakneck speed with doctors and nurses running alongside down the hallways. We're losing him. Proceeds to suggest an idea with 1. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 odds of working. How glamorous the walk of fame is. Hollywood Boulevard is dirty and full of cheap shops selling shit and homeless people. Guns make noises whenever you move them or aim at someone. I'm a sound effects editor. While totally unrealistic most sounds are put there to convey the movement. If something moves, it makes a sound. We even put clothing noise when an actor turns their head, which is clearly inaudible in the real world. I wear a leather jacket that sometimes makes noise when I move. Pretty amusing to be in a quiet office occasionally interrupted by the squeak of my arms moving. That when people drown or are drowning there's a lot of noise and flailing about. Drowning is often incredibly quiet. I recently watched a short documentary in which a doctor explained how a person drowns. I thought I knew. But I didn't. People who dive into fall into cold water pretty much drown near instantly as the body has this reflex where it sucks in air rapidly when hit with a sudden temp change. There is no time to hold your breath. You will automatically expel it and suck in. If you're submerged suddenly in cold water, you drown. 
I had no idea how dangerous it is to fall into cold water. I think the doctor said 3 autonomous breaths is enough to inhale enough water to reach the legal definition of drowning. Real dong move by our bodies. You can hold all of another person's weight with one arm hanging off a cliff. And then haul them up. Unless they are wearing a glove. In which case they are dead meat. Mexico is piss colored. It's somehow always winter in Russia. And Canada. Which is also all forest and all tundra with a lone igloo in frame. If I'm in high school and my mom or dad makes a huge breakfast to cover an entire dining room table. I'm going to be late to school that day cause ain't no way I'm choosing school over the once in a lifetime breakfast and just grabbing a piece of toast gotta go or I'll be late. It's also always daylight. Most of the school year my kids go to the bus in the dark. My god this has always bugged me. The audacity. The disrespect. Almost every car chase ever. The power of the car almost never makes a difference. Especially common with motorcycles. Your 10 year old 100 HP Honda won't keep up even for a few seconds with any bike north of 70 HP. That bike is gone. Also dirt bike chases was watching something the other day where a bike was being chased by two sprinter vans and was thinking the whole time how fake the danger was. Those things are 150 HP and weigh like 6. 000 pounds. 060 is like 12. 5 seconds. Compared to a bike which could probably do it in 5s. Fire alarm pull station setting off the sprinkler system. I want to add to this. I pulled a fire alarm due to a fire. Our receptionist had to get on the speaker to inform everyone that it was not a drill and to exit the building. When fire alarms are pulled in a movie, people either panic or calmly leave. The reality I witnessed included people just staring into it like a campfire and or ignoring the very loud alarm. The reality I witnessed included people just staring into it like a campfire and or ignoring the very loud alarm. I work security and I can confirm this. Or I get it's just a drill. Number. Leave the freaking building. Jeez. That you need to wait 24 hours before you report someone missing. Did so much harm in reality. We had a case in Germany where the police claimed it to be true. Probably because they didn't want to be bothered. That people can have entire operations set up in abandoned buildings without being bothered for trespassing rogue detectives law enforcement going AWOL and working cases they were told not to, then have their entire unit cheering for them when they get the bad guy or rescue someone. Now I kinda want to know the relative availability of abandoned warehouses in the US, and who maintains the database of rare soil compositions that are uniquely found in each of them. That helicopters can sneak up out of nowhere. Also cars with V8 engines stalking you quietly and only start to roar as you turn the lights on. Or that you can hear anything inside a military helicopter without headphones and a mic. Those things aren't for decoration. Prom equals sex. My GF at the time so desperately wanted to be living in her 80s 90s teen movie that she deliberately waited until prom night for us to have sex for the first time. It wasn't I'm waiting till marriage. It was I'm waiting till prom. Unfortunately since I was a nervous teenager the experience was anticlimactic. Wait, you guys are having proms? That silences on guns are really really quiet. Don't they just make it safe to fire the gun without hearing damage? Exactly, a good suppressor will only reduce the sound down to about that of a 22. You'll hear it but you're a lot less likely to get tinnitus. Edit, yes, I'm well aware 22 still can damage your hearing. Dying people are alert and oriented and able to talk until they murmur their last words. Close their eyes. Then sigh a final breath. Live. Your friendly neighborhood hospice nurse who has to battle this trope constantly edit. Thanks for the rewards and all the kind upvotes. And some special personal stories. Hug your loved ones tight. Nobody ever talks about the death rattles. It's a horrifying noise that a human body makes when it's in the final stage of shutting down. Like they're falling apart from the inside out and they're choking on what's left of their own life. Like chewing their own throat and lungs. A crackly, cagey noise. Sometimes it's more like a gurgle. Often even. And when someone has been sitting there for a long time dying. There are also these huge sheets of skin just splitting away from their lips. Hanging outside of their mouth. 
mocking the feeling of how good it should feel to be able to take another breath at all. It's truly awful and I don't wish it on my worst enemy, having it or watching it, and certainly pity people who see it more than once, because then you know you know. Eater. Thank you for all the love and support. I've seen three loved ones that all went through this briefly first. This amount of attentiveness and shared grief really made it feel lighter. Thank you. That women will freak out if a dude accidentally walks into the wrong bathroom and sees them all doing horrible things like washing their hands, fixing their hair, and checking their makeup. We don't. We usually just tell you you're in the wrong room, or ask if you are looking for someone. Women in movies screaming for stupid reasons always makes me mad. What's my motivation? Act hysterical. That clear shower doors have this innate biosensor that allows them to limit the steam up effect just high enough to obscure from the outside. The more private parts of human anatomy. That shower sex is easy and safe. That as long as you love someone it'll work out. Never mind the amount of work it takes to make a relationship work or that how you feel about someone will change because both of you change. Or the stick with the other person. No matter how horrible they are your love will make them better and they will be grateful. Nap. Vast majority of times women or men that need to be saved are just narcissistic jerks that take advantage of kind naive people and make their lives hell. Never grateful. Hackers that furiously tap on the keyboard for 30 seconds. I'm in. I remember a movie where the hacker inserts a USB drive. Hit center and waits. Don't you need to imitate his frantic typing. Hacker leans back and smiles. That high school was gonna be this epic thing. And how you'll met the love of your life as a teenager. Some people do, of course. But I've realized that is way more common to have your real relationship experiences in your 20s. People freak out way too much if they don't date early when it is completely normal. USF cockpits or USN submarines are bright and lit with white lights. USSR ones are dark and with sinister looking red glow. Well how else would the military identify an bad guy submarine? That when you get shot it propels you across the room. Also if your feet aren't on the ground an explosion just blows you around without harm. They never get chemo right. Yes they have a bald cap but they forget to remove eyebrows and eyelashes. Plus, with modern medicine, side effects like vomiting can be prevented. I wonder how men or women delayed getting a lump checked out because of what they saw on TV site. I'm a breast cancer survivor since 2008. That people always talk in clear, coherent and meaningful sentences without any ums or ahs. On a similar note, that everyone is always super eloquent. Like, most people don't spontaneously hold passionate speeches to motivate their friends. That the difference of rich and poor in America is just upper middle class and middle class. They make it seem that people can take a serious beating and keep on functioning when in reality one punch to the face that lands well will knock you unconscious. Suppressed firearms sound like pew pew. Regular firearms sound like bang bang. No ears ringing. No kickback. You can't hit the broadside of a barn with a handgun while jumping rolling while not brassing bullets also pass through everything or nothing. 1 inches steel plate buttery smooth holes. 1 stroke 32 thick car door with nothing inside stops 9mm or 223. Really surprised not to see this here. That tall frogs make the rivet noise. It's just the sound of a frog that lives in the Hollywood Hills. Other frogs make all manner of sounds including barking. You haven't lived until you've experienced a frog screaming in your ear at 3am. That high schoolers look like they're in their mid to late 20s. In a fight your arm bone can make a sickening crack but be totally fine bad guys suck at aiming car with manual transmission have two. Zero 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 gears and you can go faster by shifting. Fast and the furious. Silence is a 99. 9% effective. As a pillow's vehicle suspension can withstand jumps with zero damage bullets are attracted to railings. Stalk a woman long enough and she'll fall in love with you. This is starting to change a bit lately but when I was younger. In every movie about an alcoholic drug addict. As soon as you admit that you have a problem instantly everybody will love you again and all your problems will go away. You can get anywhere in a major city in minutes. And there is always an open parking spot in front of any place. So help me god if I see another movie saying we use 10% of our brain. In all fairness, 
People who say you only use 10% of your brain might only be using 10% of theirs. You can gain 50 pounds of muscles in 3 months with chicken, rice, broccoli and 15 pounds dumbbells. Cops have to tell you if they're undercover or it's entrapment. Open bracket. It's not. You're legally entitled to a phone call. Open bracket. You're not. There is a reading of the will. Open bracket. There isn't. Juries are nothing like 12 angry men. It might be a great film. But it's practically the opposite of how juries work. Social workers. If we exist at all. Only want to take your kids. Dropping a lit cigarette into gasoline will cause the gasoline to ignite. That you can gain access to any high security facilities as long you have obtained their access card from an employee. That America will save the world from an eventual catastrophic event. That 20 somethings who work serving coffee can afford a beautiful Manhattan apartment. For a long time, they played up every awards show Oscars, Grammys, etc. They're just now realizing most people don't give a damn about celebrities patting each other on the back. Tom Cruise has toured it. Please no more upvotes. Scientology is watching me. Love on first sight with no problems. Relationships are hard work PPL don't forget that. That the 20s are supposed to be the best time of your life. No you have no money. Have to figure out everything on your own while other PPL think you should know that etc. Sucks. That autistic people are all savants without empathy. Almost always white dudes at that. During the pandemic lockdown of 2020, they fooled a vast proportion of general population into believing that they, multi-millionaire celebrities, with lifestyles and property Joe Public could only dream about, were hit as badly as them. Oh the deprivation and poverty they suffered, hiding in their gated mansions with vast acreage, wealthy, condescending, while the public panic bought, endured shortages and were afraid of bankruptcy, ruin, joblessness. The Hollywood glitterati showed how out of touch they were with us plebs, but how they winged and demanded our sympathy and attention. That Imagine video said it all. Ain't no rule says a dog can't play basketball. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cast you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.